Hi, Miss Cop here. Um, this is Love Bug, one of my three dogs, and you might see Judy Rosebud pop up later. I picked a special book for you guys because to be honest, without seeing your sweet faces every day, I am finding myself feeling a little grumpy. And I like this book because it tells me it's okay to be grumpy and to have my grumpy pants on. So this is Grumpy Monkey by Suzanne Lang, illustrated by Max Lang. I hope you enjoy. One wonderful day, Jim Pansy woke to discover that nothing was right. The sun was too bright, the sky was too blue, and the bananas were too sweet. Jim was confused. What's going on? Do you ever feel kind of grumpy and you just don't even know why? Maybe you're grumpy, suggested Norman from next door. I'm not grumpy, Jim insisted. On his walk, he met Marabou. Jim's grumpy, Norman said to Marabou. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked Marabou. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. But look at how you're standing, Marabou said. It's true, said Mor Norman. You're all hunched. So Jim loosened up. Then he ran into Lemur. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Lemur. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked Lemur. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Your eyebrows look grumpy, said Lemur. It's true, said Norman. They're all bunched up. So Jim raised his brow. Then he tripped over Snake. Oh no, said Norman. That's the last thing you need when you're feeling so grumpy. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Then why that frown, said Snake. <gasps> They're using clues like Mrs. B has told us. You can check your face to see how people are feeling. I think it's because he tripped over you, Norman whispered to Snake. So Jim put on a smile. Finally, Jim looked happy. But he didn't feel happy on the inside. Everyone wanted Jim to enjoy this wonderful day. You should sing with us, said the birds. Jim didn't feel like singing. You should swing with us, said the monkeys. Jim didn't feel like swinging. You should roll with us, said the zebras. Jim didn't feel like rolling. You should stroll with us, said the peacocks. Jim didn't feel like strolling. You should lie in the grass. You should stomp your feet. You should take a bath and make a splash. You should hug someone. You should laugh. You should take a nap. You should eat old meat or some honey. You should jump up and down. You should sit in the sun. You should dance. Those all sound like pretty good suggestions. Why are you grumpy, Jim? Asked the others. It's such a wonderful day. I'm not grumpy, shouted Jim as he beat his chest. He didn't want to do any of that. And he stormed off. Jim felt sorry, a little sorry for shouting at everyone, but mostly sorry for himself. I guess I am grumpy, Jim sighed. And just as he was starting to feel really sad, he came upon Norman. Norman was slumped, his eyebrows were bunched up, and he was frowning. What's the matter? Are you grumpy? asked Jim. No, I danced with porcupine, said Norman. Are you okay? asked Jim. It hurts, but I'll probably feel better soon enough, said Norman. Are you still grumpy? Yes, said Jim, but I'll probably feel better soon enough too. For now, I need to be grumpy. It's a wonderful day to be grumpy, said Norman. Jim agreed, and he already felt a little bit better. So it's okay to be grumpy. It won't last for long. And the best thing when you're grumpy is just to find a friend to be grumpy with. Um, I can't wait to see you guys. Shout out to my wonderful co-teacher, co Mrs. Almasi, and to my classroom full of change makers. You can still find ways to change the world when you're at home. 
I love you all.